You want to just be honest or should I just lie? Lie. It's Tuesday. I just got done releasing the Sneeko meets Charlie video and I have another little secret project in the works, but it needs more time so I have to pivot. I have to think of a quick idea to feed the hungry, hungry algorithm. So what am I gonna do? There's a meme going on right now with the TikTok hearing. TikTok beats Congress, title for the next video. The government wants to ban TikTok, which is fine. I don't really like the app, but they went about it in the most dumb way possible or they just look f so fucking stupid, it's unbelievable. I wanted to do something where where we make a video that's just as stupid. And I think the whole time we're just gonna have one of them, which the Florida representative is getting memed on right now because she said, I'd like to direct your attention to the screen. And then people put up a funny edit. Root beer, no, root beer. With that, I yield back. And that's been a big meme lately. So I'm gonna take her and I'm gonna make her horrible. There's gonna be a lot of people being like, why'd you make her so disgusting? I don't know, cause it's fun. And what's the nonsensical thing she could do? She could shove tater tots and potatoes up her ankle. <laughs> Which when I sit here and explain it, it doesn't sound very funny, but I think the actual context of it is funny. So we'll see. Oh, the writing process. What a time to be alive. My buddy Vinny, he was the guy, not my cousin Vinny, right? My buddy Vinny, he was the guy who basically came up with the idea and helped me write the Toy Story tune idea. He hit me up about a TikTok Congress script he had. It was pretty funny, but I think that the the main thing I was intrigued by was just something simple like, why are they bringing Mr. Chu, Mr. Chu in? And I thought it'd be really stupid if they were just upset that their videos weren't going viral. So they brought him into Congress to have a hearing about it. And then essentially the TikToks that they're making aren't mundane. They're like really disgusting and it's like no reason. It's like no, like it's obvious why they're not getting picked up. If anything, it's weird that they're not banned. If they were just doing regular mundane things, I don't think it'd be as funny as them being super fucking gross and kind of leaning into their personality traits in the uh, court hearing trial because they were uh, really mean and stupid, which it's like, you know, they're protecting our country, so I get it. So it's early in the morning right now. I'll probably hop on Twitch today, write the script, and uh, kind of like try to get an idea of how this thing is going to get done and four days there's no watch it's just me it's another really quick turnaround the sneego chain was done in like five days and this one is going to be done in like four or five days too so it's a little tired honestly just a bit tired you know all right i'm gonna have to record this i'm gonna let you know this is gonna be this is gonna be a rough one so I don't, I don't want to hear no bitching about this because this, this is going to be a bit, this is going to be a bit of a rough one. Gah! Ah! Oh! 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 Better not leave these in too long. I think I got a couple of them starting to pickle. <laughs> oh Lord. Almost blacked out. Oh my, I actually almost blacked out. Holy shit. I thought I was going down. Oh my God. Mr. Chu, Mr. Chu. If you could direct your attention to- Fuck! Fuck! This mother bird's about to lay herself a couple quail eggs! Woo! <laughs> now, M Mr. Chu, if I, if I can interject, if I can interject, do you know what she's had to sacrifice to get this video out? Between editing the video, and giving lobbyists everything they want, raising campaign funds, and sending every one of her constituents- Fuck! Raising campaign funds and- Sending every one of her consentuents to, straight to voicemail. Consentuents. Why can I say that right? Consentu- Consentuents. 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 Constituent. Constituent. Constituents. Constituents. I'm missing the T. Constituents. And sending every one of her constituents straight to voicemail. <clears throat> Fuck! I had phlegm in my throat and that was it. Fuck, man. This here's a Yukon gold potato. Okay? That may- God damn it. Okay, hold on, hold on. That may not mean very much to you in China, but it means a whole hell of a lot of- Hold on, hold on. But it means a whole hell of a lot of us to hear it! Whole hell of a lot of us to people here in But it means a whole hell of a lot here in Oh, but a whole- Oh, I'm, I'm fucking up the reading. But it means a whole hell of a lot here in America! She's got the- Fuck, man, why do I keep fucking that up? She's got the, she's got the. I saw somebody ask the importance of potatoes. There's no importance to potatoes. <laughs> uh, uh, there's, there's, there's no, there's no real rhyme or reason in any of it, to be completely honest. Oh, God. Today's video is sponsored by Air Up. 
We all need to drink more water, get a little more hydrated, be a little more yeah, hydrated. We need more water, but it gets boring, it gets stale, but that's where Air Up comes in handy. Zero calories, zero sugar, enhancing your water through scent and smell. Air Up works with filtered water or sparkling water. It's sugar free and it has no artificial flavors or colors. And best of all, it comes in a sustainable, reusable bottle. And here's what you need to do. Grab your Air Up bottle, toss on an Air Up flavor pod, sip through the straw, listen for the bubbles, ah, and enjoy that taste you're experiencing. I know I am. Hydrate up. With Air Up's technology, you're just drinking plain water, but tasting flavors like apple, peach, blueberry, and lemon. Oh, now that's some good sipping. It tastes like lime. Click the link in the description to upgrade your water today. Do it. Thank you, Air Up, for sponsoring the video and to the video. Can I get an iced chai latte, a venti, please? Sounds good. It's gonna be twelve thirty-three for you. Thanks. Sometimes when I do, uh, when I when I make these tunes, it's nice to get out of the house a bit. You you find yourself trapped in in these rooms and stuff. So I have to go out and get a nice coffee. Go out and just kind of just drive around for a bit. You know, if you don't do that, I'm a, you go fucking crazy. All work and no play makes Hunter a dull boy. The Shining, you guys ever see that? I want to just get inspired. I like going to... <laughs> I like going to, uh, I don't know, bookstores and fucking like, just weird stores whenever I'm working on projects just to get out of the house and kind of stimulate the senses a bit. Oh, and also, over the next couple weeks, maybe a, couple, maybe a month or two, you might see that we're not going to be filming on the set. I'm moving. So, that's a whole thing. Put the camera down, we're going to have to pay. She'll never leave me, wow. <laughs> Don't trust a whore. I used to really like this girl when I was like in middle school. She used to always wear this 303 shirt and I always thought she was so sexy. I looked her up recently. She's a amputee. She doesn't have legs anymore. Oh, still sexy though, right? While I'm driving, I just want to say that my editor, Nick, he uh, sent me a video of him playing with his dog's mouth, but I could have swore that it was his dog's asshole. I'm just gonna put that video right here. Okay, so you're probably wondering, there's no way that was a mouth, that was an asshole. I swear to God, that was, uh, that was the dog's mouth. All Nick said with the message was just, it looks like human lips. <laughs> so you, de you decipher that any way you want to. Oh, my assistant texted me. Harry said, dude, just saw a girl with huge tits and a fat pussy. You got to come down to the post office right now. Would you like to reply? Yes. We have Justin here. Hello. He's my, he's my sound guy. He's, he's also sound. my good friend. Sound guy first though. We're going to give you a little insight in on the magic of how, how to, what is it? How to make it something sound like it's going inside of a <laughs> dear asshole. Usually these kind of things just to make it a little more cartoony to read. Because if, if you actually shoved the potato up your I don't think it would make much of a sound. But I think people want to hear like the I want to hear like suction cups. <laughs> I think maybe at first, if she's if she lifts her leg up like that, mm -hmm. I think that we need to hear the impact first though. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's like, like a big thud. Like, like, a, like, a, like a big boot stepping in a big puddle of water. Uh, yeah. I'm imagining sort of like, like a shoot. Sort of like a foot. I want it to sound not that easy. She she might do this often, but it's something where she's just like, ah, oh, it's like there's a lot of struggle. really slow, yeah. like yeah, that kind of deal. Yeah, we got some oats though. Should I make some oatmeal? That could be a good. That's actually a really good idea. Yeah, yeah. This is old fashioned oats from H E B. It's gonna make it sound like something going in a. Yeah, I like to play. I like to play draconic dice whenever I'm waiting for my oatmeal to be done. Ooh. Yeah, this is this is this is what crackheads play. No yellows. No yellows. No yellows. Fuck. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Did you just win? I just won, dude. Shut the fuck up. Mmm. Oatmeal sounds. Smells. Don't film tug. Good fucking god, that's hard as shit. That's like a fucking candle. What if you smushed a whole banana? Put it in there. I want half of a banana though. Mm. Oh shit. 
Looked like I was stuck in cock. Kind of funny. <laughs> What you want is you want some you want some syrup that's gonna help bind it together. Just for good measure, I'm just gonna squirt just a hair. Of your mustard in there. Yeah, all right. You know what? It wouldn't actually be real oatmeal though without just a splash of a Frank's Red Hot Wing Sauce. Yeah. Also, you can't forget uh, classic leftover queso cheese. Oh, that smells good too. Mm. This is exactly what like what it sounds like. Mm, there you go. Did you get in here with the mic real quick? Okay. Oh. We're, now it's a little too soupy. We need to we need to thicken it back up. That's what I'm saying. Get some flour. Get some cornstarch. That smells bad. Yeah. That the hot sauce was not a good idea for it. Gotta be sure to throw some of my gamer sups in there. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave that in there. Maybe, maybe the flour will. Oh, that's that's good. That's good. That's good. Yeah, you don't want to forget. You don't want to forget today's sponsor, though. We need to throw a blueberry. With this, all you have to do is activate it. I can already taste it now. Okay, yeah. All right, we have our thing of gruel here. It's a little too dry, though, so I'm just gonna pour some water. A little bit of water, just to get, just to, just to, just to help it out a little bit. Oh. Good stuff. That's <laughs> <laughs> fucking foul, dude. Just boost it anymore. Yeah. That's very good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that sounds good. So here it is. Almost finished cartoon. But I know what you're here for. You're here for those sweet, gooshy pussy sounds. And here, here it is. So here's how I built the beautiful gooshy pussy. This is the best example because this is right where she's just jamming that Yukon gold right up there. That's sort of a suction-y sound. And then this last one here. That's almost somebody making a sound with their mouth, which is awesome. Here's those sounds that we got to actually the foley that we recorded you can hear that and how this stacks into our into our effect here but then we have muddy footsteps and gurgly slime and stuff like that to sort of create like the impacts like she's just jamming Yukon gold potatoes right up in there anyway that's uh that's my breakdown on creating gushy pussy this has been Justin thanks if you could direct your attention back to the screen, please. Oh yeah! Looky there! That's a... That's a Yukon gold potato if I've ever seen one. And guess what? I've got four of these bad boys heading up to the deep fryer right now. Hey! Woo! Supper time! Let's ride! Oh, man! Oh, 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 I don't think this one's gonna fit! Oh, no! Wait, there we go! God damn! This mother bird's about to lay herself a couple quail eggs! Woo! Do you know what she's had to sacrifice <laughs> to get this video out, Mr. Chu? <laughs> this is the dumbest thing ever made. The tune is out. I'm glad people seem to like it. A lot of people think that I'm fat shaming. Representative Cat Quebec, my queen, the potato princess, or the potato queen, the tater top princess. Is that a appropriate response? I don't know, who gives a shit? Also, I don't care who you are, but when you have a Don't Tread On Me sticker on the back of your iPad at a Congress hearing, Fuck, man. This was a quick turnaround of a tune, but by God, we did it. This is what it's like making a cartoon. It's a lot of hours, a lot of hours goes into it. If I would have actually showed you all of the stuff that goes into the tune, it would be so boring. So, you know, you probably got a lot of stuff of me doing things that weren't tune related. That's, that's more entertaining than seeing my fat ass in a computer chair for like 12 hours every day, okay? That's why I do. This is my good luck charm. You know how people rub the Buddha statues, their bellies, for good luck? This is my good luck charm right here. Oh my god. It's a little scratch and sniff. I didn't know that was a thing. It smells like, uh, like Worcester's Originals. You know those deals, those little caramel candies? 